Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So today's reading is going to be for Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, and Divine Soulmate Connections or Twin Flames, where the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine is involved in a karmic situation. So the way I do the reading, it is as if it is the Divine Masculine who is involved with a karmic partner, okay? But you can take the messages and apply them for a situation if that is the case for you or um, if it is the feminine who is in a karmic relationship, okay? Just take what resonates, disregard the rest. And before we get started, I do just wanna give a shout out to everybody who has donated to my channel. Um, and for those of you who have been leaving me um, tips for your personal readings, it means so, so much to me. I appreciate it so much, so thank you guys. Um, especially because I'm in Europe, so I actually use um, euros that's my currency so PayPal actually does charge a lot to convert the dollars into euros so so anything that you guys have done for me I just really really appreciate it so thank you all right so with that said let's get started and see what is going on <clears throat> I'm gonna try to keep this one a little bit brief because I do have a lot going on and I actually feel like there's a lot going on in the collective um, cause yeah, when people start asking me for emergency readings all at once, when that's not even one of the options, I know something's going on. So if you feel like <clears throat> you, you just really want a personal reading, um, quickly, there is an additional charge. Um, but yeah, just email me about it and I will let you know the time frame and what I can do. All right. So let's see. What is going on with the masculines? All right, so we have sacred heart, passion, love, spiritual communion. Okay, so this is the way I see this card. It's all about opening up the heart chakra and about really um, it's not only concerning their divine feminine, this is concerning their self, and this is concerning their relationship with the universe, with the divine, um, and opening up to that. So something is definitely going on here. Let's, let's get a few more and see. All right, we have Twin Flame, we have Soulmate, wow, and we have Crossroads. <clears throat> all right, so this is not a coincidence, all right? What I just said about the very first card, and then right after that, we get the Twin Flame and the Soulmate card. All right, so this is definitely, for the masculines, really feeling the connection more so than they ever have before because of whatever's going on in their lives helping them to open up their heart chakra. And so they're really feeling this connection, they're feeling the love. For some of them, they may have even come across the term or the concept of twin flame or at least soulmate. They're just really feeling this connection as being something different. However, obviously, okay, we still also have crossroads. But what this is telling me is that they are taking the, um, the situation of them being at these crossroads, they're taking it a little bit more seriously, really thinking about it like, all right, you know, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it so strong. And so the, the crossroads, the fact that they need to choose a path once and for all is really, really at the forefront and just being placed right in front of them. All right, so let's get into the details and see um, <clears throat> what their energy is towards their karmic partner or a karmic situation. All right, we have the Chariot in reverse, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so th this is like, to me it feels like a backing out kind of an energy. Um, if It almost feels like maybe for some of them, recently they may have tried to just kind of play along in their role as, um, as a partner for that karmic relationship or for the situation. 
And it feels like because of this truth that is being revealed to them so, so strongly right now, and I feel like that has to do with their feminine, it's like backing out. It's like this, this stop. Um, not only that, I feel like for some of them who had been impulsive, like if the karmic relationship is something that was just based off of impulse, this is something that they are realizing now. That it was immature, that it was just as if they had no control. And for some of them it could even be that they felt like this was something out of their hands. Um, I know there are situations where, for example, it might be an arranged marriage or the, it was just for cultural issues or, or societal issues. There's a sense of now understanding how they were not in control of their lives and what was going on. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is also in reverse, indicating that this is like um, not wanting to participate in this anymore. It's almost, sometimes for me, the Three of Pentacles can also represent like a contract, um, kind of like the Justice card. So it's kind of like a contract between oneself and possibly other people and it's like that is it's like it's not valid anymore okay so this is a truth that they are that they are facing at the moment let's see what else this is also them not putting an effort into the into the relationship if they had gone through this phase where they were just trying to play along just to kind of see if they can get by emotionally um physically spiritually because they know, they know that they have not been happy. That's the thing. And they know that they aren't going to be 100% um, fulfilled. But I'm getting that some of them decided to just see if they can just go along with it anyway. And if it can just be manageable. And it's like, yeah, no more. <laughs> They're saying it can't. Let's see what else. The Eight of Cups, Judgment, and the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> this is a lot of emotional detachment. And it doesn't, um, again, don't forget, this is for the karmic partner or karmic relationship. There's a lot of emotional detachment. And I feel like that's because they're feeling that love for their divine feminine so, so strongly, right? Whoever it is that's their divine soulmate, twin flame. Um, and so it's kind of like inevitable. I feel like it's not even really them trying to do that. It's just, that's just how they feel. All right. So it could be that some of them are, are in the process of walking away. I would not be surprised at all, especially having judgment right after that. And I love the fact that judgment is right under the Ace of Swords. Like this is a lot of revelations. This is a lot of truth. This also has to do with decisions and making discernments. Like right now, their sense of discernment, their perception of the situation is crystal clear. They're seeing the truth of it more so than they ever have in the past, okay? And they're ready to release this burden. It's like, I feel like for a lot of them, they didn't even realize how exhausted they were in this relationship or in this situation. And that's because they were just trying to get by. And now they're, they're so ready to let that go. Um, and of course, you know, some will. Some will follow that. I'm getting very strongly that a lot of the Divine Masculines are really, really ready to let this go, possibly even in the process. And then others, you know, they're just leveling up in that direction. Okay, so it really um, <clears throat> depends on your specific situation. All right, so let's move on and see what their energy is towards the their Divine Feminine. All right, we have the King of Swords, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. We also have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is a card that almost wanted to come out. And I really feel like, yeah, they're feeling a lot of stress. I was actually feeling that before starting, starting this reading. So I'm actually going to keep that. And the Queen of Wands, which is the Divine Feminine, right under that. They're definitely stressing a lot because they're feeling these emotions so strongly. Not only that, feeling like 
like, shit, you know, was this my person? And what is going on? Why was I not in control? Why did, how did things turn out the way that they did? Why do I feel like everything is just um, chaotic and just not making sense? All right, with the King of Swords here, they have a lot of clarity over the fact that, number one, they cannot release you, okay? It is a burden. The relationship with the Divine Feminine is a burden on them, but that's because things have been rocky, things have been shaky. For some of you, you may not have been in contact, but even if you have not been in contact for a long time, it's still been rocky and shaky even for them because of their emotions fluctuating, because of the denial. All of that can be very exhausting on a subconscious level without them even realizing why. Um, I see a lot of frustration here as well with that Knight of Wands in reverse. A lot of frustration. They're, they're very clear about how they feel about you. As I said, they're also clear about what's going on within the karmic situation. All right, there is this sense of determination and it's like now, it's like they're not only feeling it intuitively, it's not just what they're feeling, it's like even rationally, they, they're finding a way to even rationalize these feelings that they have for their Divine Feminine. And that rationalizing is actually very agreeable to them and with their feelings. Which is good because, you know, it has always been the case uh, most of the time that their feelings were contradictory to what they were thinking. And it's like now these two are in agreement. Let me just get a few more. So you might be able, if you are in communication with your masculine, you you might be picking up on this, but... Or you might just know about it. And then for others of you, they might be really good at hiding it. All right, the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Emperor. Let me actually just put this up there. Okay, so it feels like for the most part, yeah, you might not be aware of it because I don't see them taking much action towards you. However, there is a lot of stress here. All right, even with the, with the two Knights, <clears throat> Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands being in reverse, as well as the Nine of Swords, there's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of... Um, possibly overthinking things. Yeah, they're still clear about how they feel about you and it does make sense in their minds as well. Or at least it agrees with their minds. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're not overthinking things and feeling very, very restless and frustrated. They are with their own self. For some of them, it could even be that they're feeling this way towards their feminine if, um, if the feminine has moved away or moved away from the connection, or if the feminine is now possibly opening up the doors to other relationships, okay? Because I do feel like that is the case for some of you as well. And, you know, this is <clears throat> the way that they are feeling, and because, because they, for the most part, they have not completely released the karmic relationship. I don't see much action happening right now towards you, okay? Um, so you might, this is what might be confusing you, actually. Because you might be picking up on this frustration, you might be picking up on all of these um, emotions and feelings that they're having towards you as well as their energy towards the karmic partner, but then they're still not taking action. So it could be very confusion for you. But the message here, <clears throat> finishing this off with the Emperor, is, and I love that we started with the King of Swords, and then finishing off here with the Emperor, this is them standing in their power though, or at least moving in that direction, wanting to take back that control. So what I also find interesting is that the very, very first card here, starting off with their energy towards the karmic partner, was the chariot in reverse, showing a lack of feeling like they're in control. Like things just, like they, they they lost control of the wheel that they were of the car they were driving. Okay, it's like that. And then we're finishing off though with the emperor who is completely in control. So that's what they're moving towards. That is the progression here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not sure if we need to clarify. Actually, yeah, let's clarify. All 
I'm just going to clarify overall the, um, <clears throat> the energy here towards their karmic partner. All right, so we have the Four of Cups in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. So this was a lot of settling. I feel like this is where they lost, where they lost control. This is where they feel like they lost control. Just settling for unhappiness, settling for disappointment, settling for less than 100% fulfillment. And... What I'm getting here is that, you know, they're emotionally detaching and just very, very indifferent. This is a very indifferent type of an energy that they are giving off to the karmic situation. One of the truths that they are realizing here with the Four of Pentacles is that they have been stubborn, that they have been holding on to this for the wrong, for the wrong reasons. Possibly because they felt like it, everything was just out of control. So it was just safer to stay where they were. And so now, it's very interesting. I feel like this is one of their huge revelations here, all right? Because we have the Four of Pentacles clarifying judgment and, and the Ace of Swords. So it's a big revelation of how stubborn they have been just holding on to something that, that is no longer serving them. All right, which is very clear with the Four of Cups in reverse there. So this is what is about to change. They are actually in change mode, transformation mode. They're taking that wheel that they had lost control over, and it, the, it's like the car was just going wherever it wanted to. And they're taking control and turning that wheel in a different direction. Okay, that is what they're moving towards here. And what is that direction to releasing that burden? All right, it's very, very clear. So let's clarify the energy here for the their energy towards their feminine. <clears throat> All right, so we have the hanged man the world in reverse, and the eight of pentacles. All right, so this is pretty much confirming what I said, that it's like they're not taking much action towards you with the hanged man. However, I do get that they are seeing things from a new um, perspective. They are seeing things differently now than they were before, and this is because, well, it's clarifying the king of swords, all right, which is, which is about clarity and perception. Um, it's also determination, obviously, but this is more of a determination and being very certain about how it is that they feel, which we already know is these first cards that we got up here. Okay, so yeah, they are kind of sitting on this at the moment, which I'm sure you would already know. Um, but this is not over. They know it's not over with their feminine. I feel like they still have some hope here because there is... Um, Here's how it's coming through. There is a part of them that feels like, you know, maybe it is over. There is that sense. They don't want it to be, though. If they have that sense that, that it's done because the feminine has moved on or, um, you know, it's too late because of whatever, I, whatever mess I made over here with the karmic, that's not based in reality, all right, with the Ace of Swords being in reverse. Um, this is something, like, they... This is the burden that they're still carrying for the feminine. It's like an emotional type of a burden that's still going on within them. And I feel like, you know, there's something here. They feel like it's just not complete. It has not been, it has not been fulfilled. So then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is them being focused, them um, wanting to put in the effort. They're feeling frustration. Right, so I feel like that is what is um, hindering them a little bit, <clears throat> but that's just a phase that they need to go through. But basically, though, they are putting in that effort, okay? They are working towards figuring out what they're going to do um, in order to move towards their divine feminine and just take back control and be this emperor. So, let's see. 
let's see what is coming up and then I'll get a few cards um, for the feminines. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start with some cards for the feminine. And then we'll see what is coming up. So let's let's see what's going on with you. So for the feminines. All right, we have rising above and we have eternal love, happiness, harmony, fulfillment. All right, so it's going to be different for different groups of you, uh, but basically you are in the process of rising above. Clarity, freedom, and solution. All right, you're having clarity over the situation. You are freeing yourself from the situation. Some of you might just be beginning this process and others of you might feel, you know, very good actually in this energy. It really just depends on your situation and um, where you are on your path. All right, but basically what this is saying that what rising above, seeing things from a different perspective, like from um, seeing things, you know, from afar, um, from above, from just from a higher perspective, that is moving you towards that eternal love. All right, you will have that fulfillment no matter what regardless of what your masculine um, does. All right. Um, I feel like this is actually like a huge milestone for the feminines. It's, it's so significant to actually feel freedom. It doesn't mean you don't want this connection. It doesn't mean you don't love the masculine. It's just that you feel free and you know that there are solutions. There are other solutions for you doesn't mean that they're easy. It doesn't mean that the process is easy. It can still be very difficult and it can still be a little bit painful or even very painful. But having this clarity of what this connection really is and that that happiness, that harmony, that fulfillment can be yours regardless of this, that is what sets you free. So let me just, oh, <clears throat> just a couple more couple more and then maybe I'll get a couple oracle cards for you as well. All right, wow, look at that reinvention and awakening. I'm telling you, <laughs> like, wow. You are really, um, it's like you're finding, <clears throat> really finding yourself, like discovering who you truly are. And if you feel like this person is, is your other half, um, which is an expression, right? Because it's not, it's your whole in and of yourself. But if you feel like this person is your other half, you're discovering who you are without that, without a part of you. you if you felt like this is a person who belonged to you, who was a part of you, now you're discovering who you truly are even without that part, like that forces you to really strip away all layers of ego and to really see yourself. And that is part of the awakening that is happening. And that is actually the higher purpose of this connection. And this has to happen first. Um, with these types of connections, if, if you don't go through this process, union is just physical union, just the universe will not allow that until the both of you have found your true selves from within. All right, so let's just see if there's any other <clears throat> messages for the feminines. I do go into a little bit more detail um, for the feminines in the um, readings that are general, that are not specific for karmic relationships. So I'm just only going to get a few here. Alright, we have the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're really beginning to balance out emotionally, alright, for the most part. I do get that there's still some fluctuations here with the Knight of Wands being um, in reverse, okay? So some of you might also be feeling that frustration. And for some of you, that frustration that you're feeling, it could even be that you're picking that up from your masculine. 
all right, um, because you feel their energy and you are connected. So you're bound to feel some of their energy. And I feel like what the message here is, is, you know, the more that you are able to find yourself and understand yourself, you will be able to make that discernment so that you don't let this energy affect you so much so that you can recognize if it is yours or if it is your masculine. All right, you are very receptive right now with the Queen of Cups. Um, you're moving towards that emotional balance, but you're also very intuitive. You're very receptive, I feel, to what the masculine <clears throat> is feeling. So really do trust your intuition. All right, and this is because you are, you are beginning to vibrate at a higher frequency. So let me just, oops, that's okay. All right, so let's see what is coming up in the next couple of weeks or so. So for the masculines, energy towards their karmic partner or situation. Great. Well, we only got one. It actually landed in reverse and then it turned. And it is the tower. So the reason why we only got one here is because I feel Spirit really wants to emphasize this. That this tower is going to be freaking huge. Huge. Um, this, something is really being destroyed here. Something is really changing. I feel like it's going to be <clears throat> um, a huge one. All right. It could be different things for different masculines, but know that it's going to be huge, whatever this is. It could be um, just a very, very big and serious discussion with the karmic partner that is going to be based on truth, for example. For some of them, it might even be actually beginning steps of divorce. Um, whatever it is, I mean, and for others, it could be actual separation, like moving out. Whatever it is, it's going to be huge. For others, it might even be that the karmic partner finds out about the Divine Feminine if they don't know of him or her already. Whatever it is, something really big is happening that I feel is going to happen um, pretty suddenly. And it's just going to be really different from all the other towers that have happened in the past here. So I'm just, I'm just leaving it at that because that's, that's what I'm getting from Spirit. So let's see their energy towards their feminine in the near future. All right, we have the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So that Queen of Wands showed herself before as well, which I think I, I mentioned. Um, they're, they're continuing on to feel this, to feel what they're feeling for their Divine Feminine. This is, I, I'm getting that this is also them recognizing exactly what this connection is and who you are to them. They're seeing you as being very confident, really standing in your power because you are reinventing yourself, because you are awakening, because you are moving... Um, towards that inner fulfillment and acceptance, even if it is hard, even if it is painful, right? You are free. They can sense that sense of freedom in you. And if you don't feel like you're there, just take these messages as encouragement. Take it, take these messages as guidance just to kind of help you to move in that direction. This is making you more desirable to them. This is making them with that page of wands, open up more to this connection. Um, almost like the way it's coming through is like admiring, admiring you. Now with the two of swords, it's still that they might not make um, huge action towards you. It's still a little bit of a passive energy. Um, it's still a bit of that crossroads, but I, I get it's a different type of a crossroads. The two of swords here, it's not coming through exactly as crossroads. It's more of I'm just not going to do anything yet because I don't have things figured out. And this is going to be especially true if they're going to be going through this tower. I feel like it's this tower that is going to be keeping them from taking action. However, that page of wands, that's that initial um, drive, the initial ignition, a spark, making them want to take a new path. 
okay? It's just a little bit of hesitation to move towards you. It could even be that <clears throat> for a lot of them, you know, they're they're a little bit intimidated by you at the moment. And like I said, they're going they're going to be going through this tower. So it's not going to be the best time for them to come forward, all right, while they're going through this tower. It's going to have to resolve. So, yeah, I feel like that is <clears throat> pretty much it. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's get a couple of final oracle messages here for you if this was resonating. So big things happening, major energies, I mean, still can't believe we got the Sacred Heart, Twin Flame, and Soulmate, Soulmate card. And we have Regeneration. So yeah, I feel like, you know what this is? First of all, this is the Divine Feminine's energy where you're moving towards, right? We have Reinvention, we have Awakening, we have that Clarity. And here we have regeneration, okay? This is you really regenerating your own self. But this is also going to be the masculine's energy following this tower. This is what it is leading to. And actually the tower, it's it's going to be in the process of this regeneration. It's part of it. This regeneration is not just going to start after the tower. It's like simultaneously. It's actually because this regeneration has started, and I feel like that's with that with the judgment card that we have here, that is what is leading to this tower to begin with. And then the regeneration just continues to evolve. All right, so let's get one more. And this was really powerful. <laughs> you might be feeling like things feel different and you don't know exactly what it is in this connection. All right, and we have Valiant Courage, Take Action with Passion. So yeah, you know, this applies for, for the both of you. All right, this is what the masculine is moving towards, all right, building up that courage. They still have a little bit of, of things to deal with here with this tower, but they're building up that courage. This is them um, in the process of walking away, emotionally detaching. This time, very, very consciously, being very aware, very aware of that. And for the feminine, you're doing your own thing. You have the courage to live your life. You have the courage to accept the situation for what it is. So I feel like all in all, everything is moving in, in the right direction. And I feel like things are going to be a little bit more difficult for the masculine than they are for the feminine um, coming up. So I'm going to leave it at that. <clears throat> I thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.